So are you familiar with Rays at Tom Hannafin Rivers Edge Park in Council Bluffs? That artist, Dan Corson, is bringing more of his work to us, this time an exhibit featuring immersive laser technology. Now from the harvester, Lisa Haney, Nicole Lindquist is with the Iowa West Foundation. Right. Good morning. Nice Good to have morning. you here. Uh, this is interesting and, and cool uh -huh. at the same time, but coherence. Lisa, what is it? Well, it is a laser light exhibit. You walk in and you are just surrounded by lasers and they they we have a mirrored floor in which they reflect upon wow. so when you walk out upon the mirror floor some people say it looks like you're looking into the galaxy mm -hmm. mm. i i feel like you're looking down into the sea like bottomless sea and then dan also made a separate little room with another interactive laser where it's a decaying effect one um image upon another mm -hmm. very interesting we're looking at video here is, does this do it justice, or is it even better in person, do you think? Oh, it, much better in person. Uh huh. Look at that. So the light travels along those strings, yep. and then there's that mirrored floor you mentioned. So when you're in there, I mean, do you need Dramamine to go through <laughs> the exhibit? Because <laughs> I'm watching this already wow. getting a little bit yeah, woozy. Bizarre. We actually left a cement parameter so people can stand there and not have to, like, feel wobbly ah. or anything if they would be inclined. Great. We have over 800 strings hanging from the ceiling. That that so, so how cool. does it work? There's lasers shooting down the, the, the strings. Are those strings, those are lights? And how do, I'm confused. <laughs> There's actually only three lasers in the room, two of There's which are playing off those strings. They literally oh just play gosh. with the strings. So it's just really just incredible. Um, they just tingle down the only like two those, lasers only two lasers on all those 800 some strings creating that wow. entire effect so the artist Dan Corson does he have a connection to the area that that you have these installations from him or you just like his stuff <laughs> he does as uh, Mike mentioned he ha has designed rays at Tom Hannafin Rivers mm -hmm. Edge Park and that is on a five acre great lawn down there and so every half hour, kind of after the sun goes down, it projects and kids can play games and interact with him, uh, the exhibit. And so uh, we wanted to bring him back to Council Bluffs and thought this was a great mm -hmm. opportunity. Well, I'm looking at this. This is the outside part that you're talking about right there on, mm -hmm. on the River's Edge Park, right? Is this the yep, outdoor? Yep, that's the location. Okay. Wow. His but work is amazing. And it his is. brain, how does it work that he comes <laughs> up with these ideas? Well, what went into putting this all together? I mean, it, seem, it seems pretty sophisticated. Well, uh, Dan's actually a really laid back guy, and this is kind of, so he's kind of a quiet person. He built this over a 10 year wow. span, and it, a lot of it was like, you know, even just on site, he came up with things. The, the way they designed the lasers and how mm -hmm. the images they want to project. This is all free, um, yeah. but it's not like free, free. It takes important partnerships like the foundation um, that you bring this to be. So describe your role, if you yes. would. Uh, the foundation is really focused on revitalizing that area mm -hmm. and the Harvester building is, we also played a part in kind of bringing that to mm -hmm. the Council Bluffs area and it is a 36 unit live workspace for artists and residents to kind of be able to um, live a little bit more affordably in the mm -hmm. area and to get to practice their works and Lisa's one of those That's artists. That's so cool. Yeah, any, anything else planned in conjunction, in conjunction with this exhibit? Tomorrow we're actually having an open house, so we'll have some open lofts that people can come in and see the artists at, as they're working, or, or their, even their living space. At the Harvester. At mm -hmm. the Harvester, mm -hmm. yes. And after And that, see the exhibit. How, long, how long will it run? It'll run till August 22nd. And it's been open since? Just since last week. The feedback so it, has been. Right, what you know, are people oh, saying about it? Actually, everybody's just amazed. They would just walk out of there, and a lot of them are just saying, we're going to come back and we're going to bring more people. And no, they yes. want to spread the word. Well, I'm sure. How much time should you plan to go through this thing? How does I would it work? say like a half hour is a good mm -hmm. amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. It and runs you, on a 30 minute loop, mm -hmm. so, but you don't really realize when it's beginning when and ending. When it starts and ends, yeah. Yeah, and one thing I want to mention is Dan has encouraged people to kind of reach up and touch the strings and yeah. see how it affects the oh, laser really? movement. So it is a very interactive exhibit on all levels. I feel That's like this is the sort of thing where for kids especially, their minds are blown. <laughs> yeah. And they leave and the car ride home, they are talking up a storm about what they saw and what it was like. And it opens their minds up to art and to science. Um, that something can do that. And listen, parents, you know, the summers you can keep them busy for so long and then you short on ideas. <laughs> Here's a really great idea, and it's free. We love it all. Let's show you the information again as Coherence runs from now through August 22nd, 
And again, it's free. You don't have to RSVP. You don't have to do anything fancy to show up. Just make sure you go between the hours that it's open. Um, and there they are on right. the screen. And no dramamine needed, right? <laughs> no, you need to necessary. take that. You can walk through it perfectly fine. Yes. I, I like that. <laughs> uh, back to Dan. What is, I had said, does he have a connection to the area beyond Ray's? Is he, he's not from here. No, he's from Seattle. Mm -hmm. So why him and Council Bluffs? What do you think it's a good fit? Yeah, he was a national artist in the Iowa West Public Art Collection, features several national artists and he it, it just does great work and thought this was a great opportunity to bring him back here. His exhibit was in Ames prior to coming here so mm -hmm. it was nice and close to be able to take it down and bring it here uh -huh. and Lisa and her team did a great job of setting it up. The whole room took blacking out from ceiling to floor and they worked really hard to do that. So. Yeah it's got to be completely dark in there to get mm -hmm. that effect. Yeah. yeah. And Lisa the value of this kind of art if we think about paint on a canvas this is different, oh, this but it opens up everybody's minds a bit, doesn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. And this exhibit, so it's only literally been seen in Ames and at the Harvester and Council Bluffs. Mm -hmm. It will not be seen anywhere else. Oh. So that makes it extra special. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't put a value on that mm -hmm. at all. So we're, we're thrilled to death that Dan came and worked with us and mm -hmm. that Love we get it. to host Love it. Love the exhibit, yeah. yeah. Excited we're to we're take glad you could there. be here today to tell us about it. I feel like Grayson is going to flip. They'd have a, you know, <laughs> have a good time. His, his son would eat this up, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Thank Thanks you both. Lot. Thank you. Have Thank a great weekend. Yesterday, we welcomed professional golfer Peter Jacobson. My question to him that yielded some advice from Mike. That's online at omahamorningblend.com. You know, we also talked to Peter a couple of his picks um, for the tournament. Yeah. He, he, we talked about Jordan Spieth, and then we also talked about Phil Mickelson. Both of them did okay yesterday. Tiger Woods. Is that who he liked? He liked them both. What do you yeah. think? What do you say about Tiger? We didn't talk about Tiger, but he shot 80 yesterday. He didn't shoot very good. Wasn't no, very it was good. terrible. Yeah. All right, still ahead, mixologist Lewis Taylor of the handcrafted cocktails. You might want to try this summer. First comedian Josh Wolf. He loves performing in Omaha. So, why could it be a while before we see him again? That's next.